Mm. Justice service has this thing. If you have been convicted of selling drugs, you're not allowed to get food. has this thing if you have been convicted of selling drugs you're not allowed to get food stamps whereas a pedophile a rapist a murderer can go right down there right now and get food stamps what do you think about that do you think that a murderer a pedophile a rapist should be able to get food stamps when they're out here hurting other people or do you think that the person that's selling drugs should be able to go and get food stamps. The person that's selling drugs, it's hurting people, but it's not a violent hurt. But that person that's raping, that's 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 that's, that's robbing with a, with a gun and everything, and they're shooting people, murdering people, that's actually physical hurt. That's physical hurt, and they can go down there and get food stamps. Wow, that seemed deliberate. I wouldn't say, well, I think what they're really trying to do is, is to stop the drug dealers from selling drugs. So they say, well, okay, you stop selling drugs, I'll let you get food stamps. But, but you they, can't get them because you're already a convicted um, drug dealer. If they had the money, they wouldn't be selling drugs. True. <laughs> but you find mo it's mostly the young guys that, that's selling drugs. You know, I don't have nothing against them. I don't have nothing against them. I don't drink. Uh, I'm right now in the process of getting my uh, Medicare so that I can get off of drugs. You know, I have one, just, I just do one drug. And I'm trying to get my Medicare right now so that I can get off of drugs. Now, a lady told me she came over here about a month and maybe two weeks ago to fill out the paperwork for me to get my, uh, my Medicare card. I went down there last Monday. It's still not back. So meanwhile, while my back is hurting, while I have a bladder infection, what I supposed to do about that? Okay, so now I go down to MCV, and if I go down to MCV, I've created another bill. I'm still going in the hole. Exactly. I'm still going in the hole. So I mean, I, I need my Medicare. I need this, you know? And I went down there, and I mean, she was a nice person. She filled it out for me and everything and did it for me and everything, I still haven't heard anything about it. You know, um, Dang. another thing why, why, how, people, how, how, how people become uh, homeless is back in our time, we didn't know anything about being dyslexic. Talk about that. Dyslexic is a, is a, is a disease where, you, where one person write all the letters out, but some of them are in different places. Yeah. Like say if I, I wanted to write a uh, cat or rat, he would probably put a K instead of putting a C because that's the way he sees it. He see a dyslexic person see things different than a normal person. And I'm I'm dyslexic. I found out that I'm dyslexic. You know, like like when I spell, I can spell the word all the way out, but I got one or maybe two letters in the wrong place. Like I may have the I. Where the, where the E supposed to be and the E where the I supposed to be. We see things different. And a lot of people don't know that. We didn't know that back in our time, like I'm, I'm a 60s child, and we didn't know that coming up. We didn't know that that, that it was a disease, a, a, a disease such as dyslexic. But now that they're finding out and the young kids are getting help for it, they have classes for, for kids that has dyslexic problems and everything. And I never knew it.